Hello guys, and um, today I want to sort of talk about something that I've been holding on to for a while and I really want to happen more than anything, honestly. It does have to do with YouTube, and that it's a... The, the thing about the video is, will Minnesota Burns ever actually come back to YouTube? Like, you know, make trolling videos and shit like that again. And as much as it kills me, and as much as I wish it would happen, because I used to love Minnesota Burns, in all honesty, I used to think he was, like, one of the best YouTubers. He, um, no, he will n probably never come back to YouTube. If you don't know, someone got Minnesota Burns' info, and, like, his parents' info, like, their address, and, well, I don't know if it was his address, I just know he got their info and, like, put it out on the internet. And someone recorded the Skype call with Minnesota Burns, the kid, and there was some other guy in there, and he was one of Minnesota's friends, I think, some stupid like that, I don't know. But, um, he threatened to kick the kid's teeth in because he was really pissed off, because there are people out there who fucking hated Minnesota Burns more than anything and would love to see harm come to him and his family. In all honesty, um, he will never come back because the backlash from those events, they were huge. He lost, a, he didn't really lose that many subscribers. I mean, no one really watches his channel anymore. He turned it into Minnesota Pranks, which honestly, it's, the channel's just a big pile of shit now. It really is. Like, they all, they only do basically like real life pranks. In which they barely even pranks, they're just people being assholes and like trying their hearts out for views and all that. But he will never come back. Cause do I think he was in the wrong whenever he threatened that kid? A little bit, but oh, a spider. A little bit, and but also no. Cause there were people who would love to see harm come to his family and him. Also, it's... The whole thing's just fucking stupid. I don't... I'm trying to... Figure out how to explain this the way I want to. Now, like... He was in the heat of the moment when he threatened the kid. I understand it. You know, I'd be pissed too if I was a famous YouTuber and someone started putting out... Info of my family out on the internet for people just to go and see. It's never a good thing. And, um, he overreacted. It was heat of the moment, like I said. I do think he was a little bit overboard, but that's just because he was extremely pissed off. And there are still a ton of people who would love to see Minnesota come back. Because... His channel died, basically. That's like the only way I can really put it. His channel's dead, in my opinion. It's just not even worth checking out or, like, you know, subscribing to anymore. It used to be this great, fucking amazing thing where you troll people, and he had some very good quality videos. I used to love him and all that. I watched him reach a million subscribers, watched all this other shit about him. And. You know, tell me your thoughts on it, because I really am sort of sad to see, like, the death of a YouTuber, basically. He's not really, he's not dead or anything. He still tweets and shit like that about hockey, but I don't care about hockey. I want to, I want to watch his videos again, so I'm sure a lot of people do. He's, he was a great fucking YouTuber in his time, and he still could be, but he just, I don't hard to explain because he could still just like make those videos but he got scared of how much the community got pissed off about it which he's never really won for getting too pissed off because someone got his info or hacked him it wasn't so much that he got his info it was because he was putting it out there for just anyone to fucking see Minnesota knows that there are people out there who fucking hate him and want to see bad shit happen. So, you know, tell me your thoughts on it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, you know, I've wanted to talk about this for a while, but it's sad to see him go. This is a 
great guy. He's really funny. You know, I love you guys, so... You know. You know. Sort of like and sub and all that great shit, and I will see you one day in the future, maybe. Unless... I, I develop brain cancer or something stupid like that. Alright, have a nice day.